Good afternoon, everyone. How are you doing today? So I've been thinking a lot about what move this over about what I wanted to have my last video of 2020 be. And this is going to be it. This is going to be the last video. I think I will have it uploaded at 6 p.m. this evening, 1231. And this is my attempt to kind of think big. If you've been following this channel for any length of time, you know, I'm pretty good at kind of daily execution, hence the daily financial news every day at 730. You know, I can break down a quarter and set different goals. We do a goal review every Sunday, but I'm trying to think big. So do me a favor, watch this. Let me know what you think. These are my big goals the next two to five years uh, for one rental at a time for us, for my office in the hub just for everybody who's involved with one rental at a time. So let me share this with you real quick and we will go through this. So again, this is going to be something that is, you know, two to five years, right? Some of these goals we'll be able to accomplish in two years, some three, some four, and, and some really big ones will be five years in the making. But I think I had to have, I, ha I just felt like I had to have a bigger target. I felt, I don't know, disappointed, I guess, or stressed or whatever. I didn't have that big, big goal. So I took a shot and I'd love to hear your feedback. So again, these are the two to five year goals uh, for one rental at a time. And just to have some fun, uh, I did goals with one and then I just started adding zeros, one. 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, and yes, even 1 million. So what we're doing is we're going to walk through each of these. It's just going to be that icon, and then we'll talk about the goals for them. For example, number one, I have this office in the hub with some amazing professionals and companies. I am looking forward to the hub producing one deal a month for me or for my followers. Something that we didn't execute very well in 2020 was getting deal flow to our followers. It's been a tough year, right? No inventory, just, just squirrely. I think that's going to change. We are going to work on that. And again, that's, that's 12 deals, maybe six for you and six for me. So again, if the hub produces one deal a month, that would be great. Ultimately, I would like to make that even better right? The first goal is one a month, but what if we got one a week, right? Maybe that's 20 for me and 32 for you or 15 for me or 16 for me and whatever it is, 36 for you. I'd like to see the hub get one deal a week for either me or for my followers. In addition to that, I'd love to complete one flip a month. I'd love to be interviewed on one new podcast a week. And I skipped one. I'd love to add one buy and hold a month. Again, complete one flip a month. We d we've done that before. We didn't do that last year. We didn't do this in 2020. I'd love to add more to my portfolio. We added, we added three this year. I'd love to add more. And again, I'd love to continually share the message of one rental at a time on a new podcast every week. Think about that. 52 additional you know, families or teams that we are introducing one rental at a time to. And then this is a big one. You've actually never seen this goal before. I think I talked about it once, but I never wrote it down. In Fresno, Fresno County, so not Fresno City, Fresno County, the food bank spends about $8,838.35 a day. I would love to get to a point where book sales, courses, all of that stuff allows me to donate and cover one day a month. That would be, that would be pretty cool. Donate $8,000, almost $9,000 to the food bank. That's, that's a big goal. It's a goal we're going to chase together. You already know I have charity goals in my quarterly reviews, but this is a big one. All right, 10. I would love to average 10 book sales a day on Amazon. Right now it's about six, six and a half. 
I'd love to see that grow to 10. I'd love to get 10 five-star reviews a week. That would be 500 a year. Love to, do, love to see 10 deals a month by my students in our private Facebook group. Our private Facebook group is called One Rental at a Time Works. And students are posting questions, they're posting their wins, they're posting their celebrations. I would love to see my students post 10 deals a month. Ultimately getting to 10 deals a week would be wonderful. I would love to see 10 new students sign up a day for my online courses. I currently have two, soon to be three. I would love to see 10 new students a day. Something I've never tracked is how many times my content is shared. I would love for the daily financial news or a summary of one of our flips or one of our interviews with any of our experts to be shared on uh, social media, your Facebook page, Instagram. Sharing my content with your family, your friends would be so helpful. Thank you. I would also like to see the hub do 10 transactions a month. And, and you know that you know you can get both sides list and sale I have agents I have wholesalers contractors I would love to see 10 transactions a month 100 this one's um, this one's good I would love to see a hundred new students a month in my private Facebook group a hundred a month that would be awesome I would love to see a hundred new YouTube subscribers or followers yeah subscribers a day. That would be about 3,000 a month. I would love to see 100 new followers on Instagram a day. Again, that would be 3,000 new a month. I am looking to add cash flow. As you know, I'm not done buying, selling, uh, refining, raising rents, all of that. I would love to add an extra $100 in cash flow a week. That'd be $5,200 a year. I would love to sell 100 books a day, at least once a month. Fun fact, I've done that once. One day, actually, while we were in Taiwan, we, I sold 150 books. I don't know what happened that day. Uh, maybe Amazon put me up on the front page. I'm not sure. But 150 books were sold once in one day. That was an interesting day to look at the chart. 1,000. I would love to see the private Facebook group get to 1,000. Again, we have a Facebook group just for my students of how to get started one rental at a time. I would love that to get to 1,000. We have 1,000 students. I have 1,000 students on Teachable, but we don't have 1,000 students in the Facebook group. I would love to see that happen. I would love to see 1,000 subscribers added a week. That would be awesome. That would be 52,000 a year. I think we've done that once. I think we did that once. I would love to increase cash flow by a thousand dollars a month eventually. That'd be twelve thousand dollars a year. That would be pretty cool. I would love to see every video that we produce every day get at least a thousand views. Right now, I can relatively count on every video getting about 250, 300. I would love to have a day where there's a thousand on every video. Now I realize I produce a lot of content, but still this is things I am shooting for. One that would be really awesome is I would love the daily financial news, that first video of the morning. I would love to see that get a thousand thumbs up. That would be pretty cool. 10,000. I would love to see the daily financial news, which again is a show we will do 365 times next year. I would love to see that get an average of 10,000 views a day. Right now we're up to about 1,800, which is really great. Four months ago, five months ago, we were at 300. So it's heading in the right direction, but I'd love to see it get to 10,000. I would love to have 10,000 students in my courses. I'm about to have three. I have two currently. Jimbo wants to say hi. He's all kind of squirrely. Hi, everybody. If you heard him whine, I just wanted you to see he was here. Hey, buddy. You good? All right, good. So again, 10,000 students across all of my three courses. The third one will be coming out shortly. 
I'd love to see 10,000 book sales a year. Right now, I think we'll do, I think we are gonna do about 4,500 this year, 4,600, I think. I'd love to get 10,000 a year. Like the daily financial news, we do a Saturday show that you can count on. It's actually the show we do after the daily financial news. I'd love to see the live Q&A get 10,000 listens in a week. And then I would love to someday get 10,000 YouTube subscribers in one month. Man, that would be cool. All right, 100,000. I would love to get 100,000 views a week. Right now, we're about 70,000-ish. I'd love to get to 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. We just crossed 14,300. Love 100,000 followers on Instagram. We just crossed 6,000. I would love to sell a total of 100,000 books. I don't know where we're at right now. Across paperback, Audible, and Kindle, we're probably at 10, maybe 11,000. And then finally, someday, hopefully five years from now, I would love to have 100,000 students taking my various online courses, soon to be three, but who knows? There may be a fourth and fifth one out there if I can think of something to add value. And then finally, the big boy, one million. I would love to get a million views a month on YouTube. A million views a month, that would be cool. Wow, to think about a million subscribers on YouTube, that is a crazy goal, crazy goal. I would love to have students who could successfully say they've added a hundred or added a million dollars to their net worth because of my courses. Students are doing deals, they're sharing them, but I would love as time goes by for students' net worth to go up a million dollars because of the one rental at a time, education, training, mentoring, all of that. I would love to see the hub, the office building in Fresno, do a million bucks a month in deals. That would be cool. And then finally, I'd love to be leveraging effectively a million dollars in private capital every month for our portfolio, six and 20 programs, all of that. So that's what I got. Hopefully that makes sense. Let me know what you think. Some of those clearly we'll be able to accomplish next year, some the year after. Some might take five years, but I'm trying to think big. I wanted this video to be the last one of 2020. Please let me know what you think. Have a wonderful day. Be safe. Happy New Year. Let's get 2020 behind us. And if you're ready to work, my course, How to Get Started One Rental at a Time is here. We should have inventory starting to pick up in late March, but by April, I believe we are going to be ready. All right, everybody. Take care. Bye.